Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to the latest match day preview. It's for this weekend's fixture down in London. It's Wimbledon versus Doncaster Rovers. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview, Wimbledon versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel, it is greatly appreciated. If this video has brought you to the channel, thank you for joining us, and hopefully you click subscribe so you don't miss any future content and you join the community that is growing day by day. And if this is the first video that you have watched on the channel, this is a format that we go through match previews. We look at previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions. I say a few words about a Doncaster Rovers player and then I give my opinion on the opponents one to watch. So uh, I choose a Wimbledon player, but as I always say, you know your club much better than what I do. So if you think somebody else should be singled out for praise or for Donny fans to worry about, get them in the comments down below. And then we finish the video off with three predictions. The predicted team lineup thanks to FanHub, uh, the predictions league table that me and the family do, and then the all important score prediction at the very end. So without further ado, let's get into previous meetings. Wimbledon and Rovers have faced off a total of 13 times in our history, um, with it being about as even as you're gonna get four wins each and then five draws as well from those 13 fixtures. But looking back at our more recent five fixtures, Rovers have got the edge. Uh, we go back to the 2020-21 season, the final game of that one, or the second game between the two clubs in that season, and it was a 2-0 win at home for the Rovers. And then the 21-22 season, um, Wimbledon did slightly better with a 2-1 win at the uh, the Keepmo Stadium back then, and then it was a 2-2 draw um, at their place. And then last season in League 2, uh, it was a 2-2 draw and then we won 2-1 at our place. So over the last couple of seasons we've traded blows um, but with two wins, two draws out of the last five Rovers just edged the more recent history between the two clubs. Hopefully that's a good omen for tomorrow. On to current form. Um, it leans towards Donny once again. So coming into this one, our last five fixtures, a win, a defeat, a win, a draw, a win. Fairly inconsistent there. Hopefully we could get two wins on the bounce. Uh, Wimbledon, on the other hand, a draw, two defeats and two wins coming into this one. For the Rovers, though, a decent 1-0 win last time out of the league against Grimsby. It just put us back on course after a disappointing 3-0 home defeat uh, to the hands of Salford. But, yeah, not a bad break for us in the Cup with FA Cup and uh, Bristol Street Motors Trophy. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, two games, Saturday and Tuesday, uh, and undefeated in both of those. So we've got a 2-2 two -two draw in the FA Cup first round against Accrington. So that means that we, we've got a replay, which I'm not sure we need at the minute with our injury list. Um, but it sets us up for a potential tie against Peterborough or Salford. So hopefully we do progress in that one because it'd be nice to get a decent run and a decent team in the third, fourth or possibly fifth round. Uh, but we've got to get past the first and second first. Um, but a decent win midweek uh, in, the, in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy uh, against Burton has helped us progress, I believe. I think Mansfield and Burton play each other. Neither can catch us up um, because they both can't win. So that is us through depends if we're in first or second uh, depending on that result so we have progressed in that trophy um, it's one that I'm not particularly fussed about but if it means that it's breeding confidence confidence in the team then happy days and it's giving other players that are, that are on the fringes uh, an opportunity to play as well um, it's been nice to see some injured players starting to return hopefully more to follow over the coming weeks to help bolster the squad um, which is running on fumes at the minute. It's I think it's a good thing that Warsaw has been postponed on the 18th of November. Um, it just gives us that little bit more time to get players back and, and 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 fit. So yeah, that may be a blessing in disguise. That one. Uh, and then we have Crew the Saturday after, and then Colchester midweek. So it was quite a congested fixture list anyway, especially with Accrington on Tuesday. Uh, the 14th so yeah I think blessing in disguise for, for, for Walsall to be postponed. Moving on to Wimbledon uh, they started this season unbeaten in six with four draws and two wins 
and then they only lost one in their opening 12 games so it was a really good start for them this season uh, but at the minute it's it's fell off a cliff a little with without a winning five um and they'll be wanting the three points at home tomorrow against donny for sure uh, the con the conceding goals pretty regularly in the league recently with eight going past them in the last two games um it was a 4-2 defeat to accrington and a 4-1 defeat last time out to crew maybe i may be wrong with that one uh, but yeah eight goals conceded in two games so hopefully uh, that defense is continuing in that form tomorrow um but the break in the cup may have got them back on track because uh thumped cheltenham 5-1 in the fa cup on saturday and then beat palace under 21s 2-0 in the bristol street motors trophy midweek so potentially those two two victories um in the cups have put them back on course i'm hoping not Moving on to player profile, for this one I've gone with Kyle Hurst, I mentioned injured players coming back, this is one of them, uh, 28 years old left winger and for me it's just great to see him back, he's making an impact in the team as well, uh, came on for about 20 minutes against Grimsby and, and, and won the penalty um, to, to win as the game and I think that was due to his drive and positive running uh, that, we've, that we miss uh, or we have missed I believe, uh, he's played a few more minutes in the FA Cup uh, but then managed to get on the score sheet Tuesday night against Burton in the EFL Trophy. Uh, so hopefully this means that his injuries are behind him and we see a lot more of Kyle Hurst throughout the uh, the season and hopefully pushes us up the table because this boy's got bags and bags of ability uh, and I've missed, I certainly have missed him on the pitch this season. Moving on to the opponents one to watch. So as I said at the start of the video, you know your club much better than what I do. So if you think somebody else should be on this screen get them in the comments down below i love learning about other clubs in our division and it makes the content better in the future because i've just i'm looking at it from an outsider looking in so please if you're a wimbledon fan watching get your comments in the section down below and i will certainly take them on board for future videos but for this one i've gone with josh davison 24 years old center forward not too much experience across uh, the EFL for his age, 154 appearances, 34 goals and 10 assists, but I've singled him out because he scored three in the last two, so started to hit a bit of a purple patch, which could be trouble for Donny on, uh, in tomorrow's game, so he's not really started too many games, he's, he's more of an attempt at an impact off the bench, uh, but yeah, the two cup games, one goal against Cheltenham, and he scored the brace against Palace under 21. So that'll, I think that'll just give him confidence. Big, strong centre forward um, could cause us problems tomorrow if he gets a start. I think three goals in two games is certainly staking a claim for a start anyway. So for me, one to watch tomorrow just because of his goal scoring at the minute, Josh Davison. Moving on to the predicted team lineup. Um, it's a tough on this because I think we've got a couple of injuries. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm recording this before any sort of media has happened with, with Grant. So I'm guessing, stabbing at the dark with this one. It could be the worst prediction of the season so far. But I've gone with Louis Jones in goal, a back three of Oluwu, Anderson and Senior with Maxwell and Nixon at right and left back. And then a midfield four, but with Molyneux and Hurst on the wings pushed a little further forward. The midfield two of Westbrook and Bailey with Mo Fowl up front on his own. Um, hopefully Molyneux and Hurst supporting him um, either side. And I've gone with that because um, I believe Close has been out of the squad for a couple of games. So potentially that he's, he's an injury that, that we're not knowing about at the minute. And um, and Ironside hasn't been in the squad as well. I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it's just protecting key players um, in a busy, busy period. And... I'm miles off with this one and close and Ironside are in there um, but we will see that's what I've gone with for this fixture on to the predictions league table so if you're new to this me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game and um, we're starting to get a little bit better but if we get the scoreline spot on we get three points if we get the outcome of the game right but not the scoreline we get one point get it completely wrong it is no points and Chris myself and Max all went with wins against Grimsby um, my dad went with a draw i believe so that keeps him bottom on seven points max has pulled away slightly on eight chris above max on nine and then i've got a little cushion 
I mean, top on 11 points. A long way to go this season, though, and it's taken us a long old time to get to double figures. Um, yeah, poor start this season, just like Donny did. Hopefully, progression now and points on the board. And that takes me on to my score predictions. So it's going to be a tough one. Um, I, I seem to say that at the end of every video, I don't think there's an easy game in League in League Two, to be honest. Um, obviously, the start that Wimbledon had was very good unbeaten in uh, one one defeat in 12 unbeaten in the first six um a little bit of a, a bit of a wobble at the minute so i think they'll be wanting to to steady that and get back on get back on track which i think the two cup games may have done um so yeah i'm hoping the league form continues and we go down to london and have a fantastic day and bring the three points home uh, but yeah, it's going to be very tough, especially with the injury crisis that we've had all season. Um, we've got players running on empty at the minute and Grant's asking a lot of them and they're giving us a lot. So I hope the, the, the fans that go down, get behind the lads, push us on to a massive result once again in the league. And I believe that the fans will push us on to a win. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be entertaining. I think it's going to be 3-2 to the Rovers we can hope and that's where i'm going to leave this video if you've enjoyed it please stick a big thumbs up on it for us please comments in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one